like. First thing that comes to mind is it was quiet. Mm -hmm. Loving parents, quiet, always there, but I think uh, I, I wouldn't call it a, a, a real regular. It was out of the ordinary mm -hmm. to the good side. So what was your relationship with your siblings like? Were they well, of course, I was a, a girl, a sister, after three boys, and I probably could be on the spoiled side mm -hmm. because I all I felt from them was love, teasing, maybe a little teasing, but uh, it, it was a good, comfortable way to be brought up because they they just gave me a lot of love and I guess attention in a good way. So that good memories from your childhood. Oh yes, oh yes, oh yes, and I did have uh, with my brothers. Uh, Good memories. I mean, oh my gosh, I think our backyard was our playground. We would go out and bring golf clubs in the winter. I remember making a, a well, it was kind of a skiing hill, pretty high, and we would play on that. So, I mean, it, it was all good. It was all good. Were there any bad memories from your whole childhood that you could? Well, uh, I lost a brother, and uh, in, in I was about seventh grade, so that that was difficult. Mm -hmm. He was uh, trying to save somebody, and he was he was a hero, and he again was a caring person. But at, at that age, maybe uh, I can't say it would be any worse than a parent or anybody, but I think it. it that is a shocker. Yeah. That will do something to you. But it also strengthens you. That's the real part of life mm -hmm. and death. But that would be the only thing. We had a good relationship. Um, my cousins had moved next to me as they, as they had lost their dad. And that family was like my second family, so I, th I think I had plenty of friends. It was a complete, complete was good. experience. Thinking back, was there like one moment or a time in your life that it was like, wow? Well, I, I, I would think there are so many that on a spur of the moment, nothing is rushing out to me. I think every time some of my children, whether they got married, whatever they did, whatever event came to be, grandchildren included, uh, they were all highlights. Mm -hmm. I, I could not pick out one. Um, if, in fact, my wedding day was the most important day of my life, I could say that. But I've had special events since that. So. so when Grandpa was diagnosed with cancer, how did you take that at first, when you first found out about that? Uh, even hard to remember that. I mean, it was, you know, a shock, what's going on, you, do, you don't, you don't make a plan, you just try to be strong and accept, and there's always hope. Um, he had two types of cancer, one not as serious. Pancreatic took him. He had one solid year of knowing that there was no cure. But that, that year, I have to say, was very special. It was just really special. I, the Lord gives you what you need as hard as it is, and I think I learned a lot from him. He probably learned from me. I helped him, whatever. And I would say that was a special year, knowing and accepting God's plan and making the best of every minute, mm -hmm. whatever you had. And that, that's really, uh, 
to be able to do that, and only through the grace of God can do people do that with smoothness, with acknowledging your feelings to yourself, but to say, I'm with you, Lord, and we will handle this. Um, have you had any life mottos, like a life motto that you live by? I probably would go to the old standard, do unto others that, as you would have them do unto you. I mean, I think that just is a very good thought, how to live that helps you to think of other people. You're not the only person around, and, and if you can have a kind, understanding way um, towards family, friends, anybody, I, I think treat others well. I, if I had probably 10 minutes, I might think of another uh -huh. one, but that just seems to be what I would say. Um, what lessons have you learned over your life? Um, let's say, I'm sure a lot. Um, I think I was brought up with the fact of, um, I guess basically not talking about others, not gossiping to the point where I've kind of carried that on with my own kids where sometimes they say, oh mother, it's not like that, it's not that bad, we're not saying anything. I don't know, I just, my, my mom was always like, just don't talk about people. If you can't say anything good, don't say anything. You know, there's a lot of religious lessons you learn, but I think day by day, um, don't criticize cruelly, think of other people's feelings. Sometimes we don't know, evidently, I probably have learned this, you don't know how it would affect anybody if you just say something which doesn't, in your mind, won't make a difference, but sometimes it will. I, I guess I just think to be aware of other people, and I know there's much more to say, but I, 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 I think that's what I think about. Everybody has feelings, and we don't want to hurt people's feelings. Okay. Enough of that, but I think that would be the underlying feature, and to praise, encourage, and think of yourself, too. What do you need, what do you want, and work towards that. Don't leave yourself out of it. So, from all those lessons that you've learned over your life, if you had one major piece of advice or message to send to younger generations, what would you think that message would be? Well, I, I think, I guess I'm not a pessimist, but I, I do like to remind people because I think I didn't realize that some things could be pretty tough. And whether you're in school, whether you want something immensely, it's hard to find that particular thing, you're missing something. Um, whatever road you're on, put one foot in front of the other and you know it might not just go as quickly or as good as you want. I guess be ready for a little, some disappointments, but be strong and uh, uh, just trust. Trust yourself because you've got so many, everybody has got so much strength in them and so much love. Developed, develop your own assets and you will make it through to happiness. And oh, that's so important. I mean, just fill yourself with good, I don't want to say righteous, but good things that you can feel almost a reward from. 
I just, I just think, make yourself happy, not to the expense of others, but feed yourself with what you feel you need, you want, and don't forget yourself.